All right, underage girl equation. All right, let's hope this doesn't get creepy again. Uh, Bill, longtime fan listener, caught a few shows. Glad you're kicking ass. Thank you. Uh, here's the important part. Here's the important part. Yeah, fuck my career. Exactly. Uh, to calculate acceptable age differences between partners, here's my rule of thumb. All right, for those of you who are just new to the podcast or haven't listened in the past couple of weeks because you have a life, um, lately, I don't, lately, I don't know what's been going on, but people have been sending me these fucking emails and uh, it's somehow, it's like, yeah, you know, 27, my girlfriend's 19, we've been dating for six years. And uh, it's like, wait a minute, wait, what the fuck? You know, it gets weird. So this is what he's re uh, referring to. He goes, here's the important part. To calculate acceptable age differences between partners, here is my rule of thumb. Half your age plus seven. That's it. Works for everyone pretty much. If you're 22... Half your age is 11, plus 7 equals 18. Um, dude, I got to say, 22 to 18, that is, that's st a, still a huge age difference, but, but it is legal. It is legal. I don't know how you don't feel like fucking Matthew McConaughey in Dazed and Confused with that one, dude, because you're literally talking like, you know, you got a mustache by 22. Come on, man. She's 18. Finishing up high school, and you've just wrapped college. That's a huge difference. But you know, twenty six to twenty two is not a big deal. Um, anyways, but I, I like I like what you're saying. He said eighteen is your cutoff. So yeah, that does make sense. It is legal. He goes, if you're eighty, half your age is forty plus seven is forty seven. Boom, there it is again. Reasonable differences regardless of age. Yeah, it depends on who you are in that one. I think I would rather be the 80-year-old. I feel like I'm stealing money at that point. But I like, I like what you, you come, uh, where you're coming from here. He goes, I'm not saying there aren't, uh, there aren't anomalies out there for every situation, but for a simple guide to not being a pervy fuckbag, stick with the half plus seven rule. I've uh, been meaning to share this with you for a while, but seeing as every week we seem to have a new douchebag trying to justify his perversion, well, it's time. Yeah, thank you. All right, there you go, people. Half your age plus seven. If it doesn't fucking work out, well, half your age plus seven and she's still 18 or older. Right? Because if you're 18, half your age is nine plus seven is 16. I mean, you're in trouble there. That's statutory rape. That still kind of works out good. I'm 16. Half my age is eight plus seven is 15. That fucking works. You're 12, half your age is 6, plus 7, she's 13, you're fucking slaying it. I love this theory. I love this fucking theory. God damn it, that works. This son of a bitch. He's like Matt Damon in that fucking, uh, where he's got the mop and he's good at math. One flew over the cuckoo's nest, dazed and confused. Fucking, uh, I gotta see about a girl. What the fuck is it called? Goodwill hunting. There you go. I shook it loose.